The surface of our planet has been shaped by natural forces for billions of years, resulting in awe-inspiring structures and breathtaking scenery. Local climate conditions have further influenced each region, making them distinct and unique in their own way. While every corner of the Earth boasts its own beauty, some landscapes are truly exceptional. From lush protected forests to majestic river valleys, sprawling deserts to picturesque coastlines, it's time to visit the top 15 most incredible landscapes on Earth. Let's begin. Number 15. Torres del Paine National Park, Chilean Patagonia the landscape of Torres del Paine National Park in Chile is a natural wonder that attracts visitors from all over the world. The park, which covers an area of around 700 square miles or about 1,800 square kilometers, is located in the Patagonia region of Chile, and it's known for its breathtaking scenery, rugged mountains, pristine lakes, and winding rivers. The most iconic feature of the park is the Torres del Paine, a trio of granite peaks that rise above the surrounding landscape. These mountains, which reach a height of about 9,300 feet or 2,800 meters, are one of the park's most popular attractions and a must-see for anyone that goes there. Hikers can go on a challenging trek to reach the base of the towers, where they can enjoy some of the best views of the mountains and the surrounding valleys. In addition to the peaks, the park boasts a range of other natural wonders, including glaciers, lakes, and rivers. The Grey Glacier, for example, is one of the most impressive of all, stretching for over 3.7 miles, or about 6 kilometers, and with a distinctive blue hue. It's even possible to take a boat tour or hike along the glacier to witness its beauty from up close. The park's numerous lakes and rivers are also a sight to behold, with Lake Pahoe that's located at the heart of the park being particularly known for its crystal clear waters and stunning mountain views. The Salto Grande Waterfall is another popular site where you can watch the water cascade down from the mountains into the turquoise-colored river below. Aside from its natural beauty, the park's also home to a diverse range of wildlife, and if you're lucky, you'll be able to spot a guanaco, fox, or puma roaming freely throughout. The skies above are filled with a variety of bird species too, including the Andean condor, Chilean flamingo, and Magellanic woodpecker, all of which thrive there thanks to the minimal human interference. Whether you want to hike, kayak, or simply take in the stunning views, the Torres de Paine National Park is a truly unforgettable place, and with its unique geological formations, awe-inspiring mountain peaks, and diverse wildlife, it's a natural wonder that you should definitely visit if you've got the chance. Number 14. Santorini Caldera, Greece The Santorini Caldera, which is located in the Aegean Sea, is one of the most breathtaking areas of natural beauty in Greece. The crescent-shaped island was formed after a volcanic eruption, and it's famous for its dramatic cliffs, whitewashed buildings, and stunning sunsets. The caldera, which is the sunken central part of the volcano, is what makes Santorini such a unique destination compared with anywhere else in the region. The beauty of Santorini Caldera can be seen from various viewpoints on the island. One of the most popular places is the village of Oya, located on the northern tip of the island where you can enjoy a panoramic view of the entire caldera and the surrounding islands. The sunset in Oya is also a must-see experience, as the sun sets into the sea, creating a fiery red and orange sky. Another point of interest is the village of Fira, which is the capital of Santorini. Fira was built on the edge of the caldera, and visitors can take a cable car or walk down the steep steps to reach the old port. From here, you can take a boat tour around the caldera, which is the best way to see the volcanic landscape up close, and will also take you to the island of Nea Kamenai, where you can hike up to the crater of the volcano and enjoy panoramic views of the caldera. As well as the incredible scenery, the beaches in Santorini are also unlike any other because of their black and red sand, which is a result of the volcanic activity, of course. The most famous ones on the island is the Red Beach, which is located near the village of Akrotiri, and it's surrounded by towering red cliffs, making it one of the most picturesque spots in all of Greece. Santorini is, of course, well known for its culture, too, with quaint towns, amazing architecture, friendly locals, and delicious food. It's the perfect place to go to take life at your own pace while being surrounded by one of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. Number 13. The Pitons, St. Lucia The Pitons of St. Lucia are twin volcanic spires that rise majestically from the Caribbean Sea, creating a stunning backdrop for the island's fertile forests and clear blue waters. They are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of St. Lucia's natural beauty, and a large reason why it's become such a popular tourist destination. The Pitons are made up of two peaks, Gros Piton and Petit Piton. Gros Piton is the larger one and rises to a height of about 2,500 feet or 770 meters above sea level, while Petit Piton is the smaller of the two and reaches a height of 2,400 feet or about 740 meters. 
Visible for virtually every part of the island, they are both covered in lush tropical vegetation and are surrounded by a protected marine reserve that's home to a diverse range of marine wildlife. The peaks are often shrouded in mist, which only adds to their mystical beauty, and the surrounding landscape is equally stunning, with pristine beaches, turquoise waters, and dense rainforests teeming with wildlife. One of the best ways to see the beauty of the Pitons up close is to hike to the summit of Gros Piton. It's a steep and challenging trail, but the views from the top make it more than worth it. From there, hikers can take in panoramic views of the Caribbean Sea, the island of St. Vincent, and the wonderful views of St. Lucia, while also offering an opportunity to see the wildlife of the island, with exotic birds, colorful butterflies, and rare plant species along the way. The Pitons act as a focal point on the island, but the surrounding landscape is just as impressive, so you won't have to venture into the mountains too much. With reefs teeming with fish and streams and waterfalls all around, St. Lucia is exactly what you'd expect from a tropical island paradise. Number 12. Sunwapta River, Alberta, Canada Sunwapta River is a stunning destination located in the Canadian province of Alberta that's known for its natural beauty, with a perfect blend of mountains, glaciers, and forests. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in Canada, and people from all over the world visit this place to experience the beauty and serenity of the surroundings. The landscape alongside the river is nothing short of spectacular, and it's surrounded by towering peaks that rise to a height of over 9,800 feet or 3,000 meters, with many of the mountains being covered in dense forests of pine, spruce, and fir. The valleys between them are filled with vibrant wildflowers and sparkling rivers, and during certain times of the year are carpeted with lush green meadows that stretch as far as the eye can see. One of the most striking features of the Samwapta River Valley are the glaciers that can be seen far in the distance. The Athabasca Glacier, for example, is one of the most famous glaciers in Canada. It's located just a short drive away. This massive glacier covers an area of over 2.3 square miles, or 6 square kilometers, and it's one of the largest glaciers in North America. The valleys in the region are also home to a wide variety of wildlife, with opportunities to spot animals like elk, deer, bighorn sheep, and even bears. Bird watchers can also enjoy spotting a variety of birds like eagles, hawks, and owls, and arguably the best way to experience all of this for yourself is to take a hike through the area, and there are several trails that offer stunning views of all that there is to see. Now, if that's not your thing, though, you could instead go rafting down the Sunwapta River, which offers a unique perspective on the valley and is an adventure you'll never forget. Number 11. Kaoping Khan, Thailand Kaoping Khan, which is also known as the James Bond Island, is a beautiful island located in Phang Nga Bay in Thailand. The island is known for its unparalleled scenic views, which has made it a popular destination for tourists from all over the world, with its unique landscape and stunning features, making it a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Thailand. What makes Kaoping Khan truly stand out is the towering limestone cliffs that rise from the crystal-clear waters of the Andaman Sea. These cliffs are covered in lush vegetation and are almost unbelievable when you see them in real life. The island's most famous attraction is a 65-foot or 20-meter tall limestone rock called Kotapu, which stands tall in the middle of the sea. It's this unique geological formation that first brought attention to the area when it was used as a location in the James Bond movie The Man with the Golden Gun, and since then has seen the tourist industry in the area thrive because of the number of people wanting to see the place for themselves. The beaches around the island are in their own league, too, with each one having its own charm. Visitors can relax on the white sandy beaches, swim in the crystal clear waters, or take a stroll along the shoreline all while enjoying the spectacular views of the surrounding landscape. Boat tours are a great way to explore the bay, hidden coves, limestone cliffs, and small islands dotted around the main island. It's also a hugely popular destination for scuba diving and snorkeling thanks to a number of pristine reefs that are home to a diverse range of marine life, including fish, coral reefs, and even sea turtles. With fairly calm and crystal waters, people of all experience levels can take the plunge and see an incredible marine environment that matches the views above the water. Number 10. Wadi Rum Protected Area, Jordan Wadi Rum, which is in the southern part of Jordan, is a protected area that covers an incredible landscape that visitors can explore. It's known for its towering red sandstone cliffs and stunning desert scenery. It's been called the Valley of the Moon because of its otherworldly appearance. The region is home to a number of unique geological formations that have been shaped by millions of years of natural processes, which makes it a must-see destination for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. The sandstone cliffs that surround Wadi Rum are truly an amazing thing to see, with the red rock formations rising dramatically from the desert floor, creating a stunning backdrop against the blue sky. The highest peak, Jabal Um Al Dami, stands at over 5,900 feet or 1,800 meters and provides breathtaking views of the surrounding desert landscape. 
The sea stone cliffs also feature intricate patterns and textures, with striations and layers that reveal the geological history of the area. Wadi Rum is also famous for its expansive desert terrain, with rolling sand dunes that stretch for miles and create a surreal landscape unlike anything you'll ever see. Visitors can explore the desert on foot, by jeep, or even on camelback, and take advantage of a number of planned hiking trails that wind through the desert and offer stunning views of the surrounding cliffs and mountains. In addition to its natural beauty, Wadi Rum is also steeped in history. The area has been inhabited for thousands of years, and visitors can explore several ancient ruins and archaeological sites. One of the most famous is the Nabataean Temple, which was once a major religious center for the Nabataean people. And throughout all the formations, there's also a lot of rock art, ancient petroglyphs, and inscriptions that date back thousands of years. These carvings provide a glimpse into the area's rich cultural and historical heritage and offer a unique window into the past. Number 9. Kif Kufeth, Iceland Kifkufeth, found on the north coast of the Schneifelsnes Peninsula in Iceland, is one of the most picturesque and recognizable landmarks in the country. Rises about 1,520 feet or about 463 meters above sea level, it's a mountain that stands alone, with a distinct cone that's visible from miles away. Its stunning beauty has made it a popular spot for photography enthusiasts and tourists alike. It's long been part of Icelandic folklore. The reason it's become so prominent is its unique shape. The mountain has a cone-like peak which rises sharply from the surrounding landscape, and its steep slopes are covered in a lush green grass, while the peak is capped with snow and ice throughout much of the year. The mountain's beauty is enhanced by the nearby Kirkufelsfors waterfall, which cascades down the rocks and provides a living foreground for photographs. The area surrounding here is also incredibly scenic. The peninsula is known for its dramatic coastline, with rocky cliffs, black sand beaches, and deep fjords. The rugged terrain is dotted with small fishing villages, and there are a number of hiking trails that wind through the landscape, offering views of the sea and the surrounding mountains. While it's beautiful at any time, it truly comes into its own during the northern light season, which runs from September to April. The mountain's isolation and proportions make it an ideal spot for viewing the Aurora Borealis, and many visitors come to the area specifically for this purpose. Watching the northern lights dance above this place is truly a magical experience that should not be missed. Beyond its natural beauty, this place is ingrained into Icelandic culture. According to legend, it's said to be the most photographed mountain in Iceland, as well as the most beautiful, and it supposedly has mystical powers with stories of magical creatures and hidden treasures that are believed to be hidden in its depths. Number 8. Milford Sound, New Zealand Milford Sound is a natural wonder located on the west coast of New Zealand's South Island. It's a fjord that's famous for its stunning scenery, which includes towering cliffs, cascading waterfalls, and a wide range of marine life. And as a result, it's one of the most popular natural formations in the country. The towering cliffs of Milford Sound are what it's best known for and act as steep walls that rise from the water to create a dramatic landscape. The cliffs are covered in vegetation and provide home to a variety of wildlife, including seals, penguins, and dolphins. One of the best times to be in Milford Sound is during the sunrise or sunset, as the colors of the sky and the cliffs come alive with a kaleidoscope of reds, oranges, and yellows. The waterfalls of Milford Sound are some of the best that you'll find in New Zealand, and they're enhanced by the frequent rain that falls in the region that creates countless cascades that tumble down the cliffs and into the water below. The most famous of these waterfalls is the Stirling Falls, which is one of the largest in the country and plunges 508 feet or 155 meters and creates an ominous mist that adds to the area's special aura. Things are just as spectacular beneath the surface, where there's plenty of different types of fish, as well as the extremely rare black coral. Visitors can often spot dolphins and seals swimming alongside their boats, and the area is a good place for whale watching, with humpbacks and orcas regularly spotted off the coastline. In many ways, it's the isolation of Milford Sound that really adds to the sense of being in the wilderness, and it's only accessible by boat or plane, which creates a sense of remoteness and tranquility that's hard to find in other parts of the world. Once you're there, you can explore by boat, kayak, or on foot to take the surroundings in in your own way or there are regular cruises in the area if you prefer to be guided around. Number 7. Plitvice Lakes National Park, Croatia The Plitvice Lakes National Park is a natural wonder located in the heart of Croatia, known for its strikingly beautiful lakes, waterfalls, and cascading streams. 
This UNESCO World Heritage Site covers an area of over 114 square miles, or 296 square kilometers, and it's home to 16 interconnecting lakes that are situated at different altitudes. This national park is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Croatia, and it attracts millions of visitors every year. The park is easily accessible by car, bus, or train, and there are several well-maintained walking trails that take visitors through the lush green forests, around the shimmering lakes, and up close to the spectacular waterfalls. It's divided into two main areas, the upper lakes and the lower lakes. The upper lakes are at a higher altitude and are surrounded by dense forests, while the lower lakes are down in a valley and are surrounded by lush green vegetation. Amazingly, the lakes change color throughout the day depending on the angle of the sun and the time of the day, and this sees them shift from being a deep blue or turquoise to emerald green, which makes for a truly mesmerizing experience. You'll be surrounded by beauty wherever you are, but one of the most breathtaking sights in the park is the Veliki Slap Waterfall, which cascades down from a height of 250 feet or about 78 meters, and it's the highest waterfall in Croatia. The sound of the water crashing down onto the rocks below is truly unforgettable. As well as the lakes and waterfalls, the park's also home to a wide range of animal and plant life, including a large population of brown bears, wolves, lynx, and deer. It's also possible to see a wide variety of bird species, including eagles, owls, and kingfishers, along with a number of plant species that can only be found in this specific region. With various different walking routes ranging from easy walks along the boardwalks to more challenging hikes that take visitors up into the hills, there's a way to take in the sights of the park for everyone, so it's no surprise that it's one of the most visited places in Croatia. Number 6. Mount Desert Island, Maine, United States Mount Desert Island, located off the coast of Maine in the northeastern United States, is a breathtakingly beautiful destination. It's best known for its stunning natural scenery and charming coastal towns. It's a favorite spot for vacationers and nature enthusiasts. One of the most famous destinations on the island is the Acadia National Park, covering an area of over 76 square miles or 197 square kilometers of pristine wilderness. It's home to a wide range of different plants and animals, too. Visitors to Acadia can hike on miles of scenic trails, kayak on crystal clear lakes and ponds, and enjoy amazing views of the rugged coastline and surrounding islands. The centerpiece of Acadia National Park is Cadillac Mountain, which is the tallest peak on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Measuring 1,530 feet or 466 meters high, it's the perfect vantage point for uninterrupted views of the surrounding landscape, particularly at sunrise and sunset when the sky is painted in brilliant shades of pink, orange, and purple. While the national park makes up the majority of the island, Mount Desert also has some charming coastal towns too, each with its own unique character and charm. The town of Bar Harbor, for example, is particularly popular with visitors, with a range of restaurants, shops, galleries, and accommodation options, and easy access to the national park itself. You don't have to hike to experience all the natural beauty, though, and can instead drive the park loop road that's a 27-mile or 43-kilometer route that winds through the heart of the national park. Along the way, you can stop at various viewpoints to take in the scenery, including Thunder Hole, which is a natural inlet where waves crash against the rocky cliffs and create a thunderous sound as they do so. With further places to visit, such as the Astaco Azalea Botanical Garden, a waterfront panoramic harbor view, and plenty more, it is the ideal place to go to experience the best of Maine. There's something there for everyone. Number 5. Waimea Canyon State Park, Hawaii Waimea Canyon State Park is a breathtaking natural landscape located on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. It's commonly referred to as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific due to its vast size and spectacular vistas, which offer visitors a glimpse of the island's stunning natural beauty. The park covers an area of around 3 square miles, or almost 8 square kilometers, and it's home to a variety of wildlife and plant species, making it a must-visit destination for nature enthusiasts and outdoor adventurers. The canyon itself is over 14 miles or 22 kilometers long, 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers wide, and over 3,600 feet or just more than a kilometer deep. The landscape is a glorious formation, showcasing various shades of red, orange, and green, and having been formed by the Waimea River and its tributaries as they carve their way through the volcanic rock, the result of this process is a landscape of towering cliffs, narrow gorges, and cascading waterfalls. A great way to see the best of Waimea Canyon State Park is by hiking one of the many trails available. The trails range in difficulty from easy to challenging, so there's something there for everyone, which offer amazing views of the canyon and of the Waipo'o Falls, and the Cliff Trail, which provides breathtaking views of the canyon's sheer cliffs. For those looking for a more leisurely experience, there are several lookout points accessible by car, such as the Waimea Canyon Lookout and Pu'u Hinehina Lookout. Both of these points offer panoramic views of the canyon and the wider area, making them perfect spots for taking in the surroundings. 
There is, of course, a rich cultural history in the park, too, and it's home to the remains of several ancient Hawaiian settlements, which can be explored through guided tours. Here, visitors can learn about the island's history and cultural traditions, including the importance of the land and its natural resources to the Hawaiian people. Number 4. Ha Long Bay, Vietnam Ha Long Bay is a site of natural beauty that's located in northeastern Vietnam and is known for its towering limestone cliffs, emerald green waters, and thousands of islands and islets. The bay covers an area of more than 580 square miles, or 1,500 square kilometers, and it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. The limestone cliffs of Ha Long Bay are perhaps its most recognizable feature. These towering formations rise dramatically from the sea, creating an amazing seascape that create a stunning vista. Visitors can explore the cliffs by boat or kayak, taking in the natural beauty of the area from a unique perspective, floating around on the green emerald waters of the bay. The calm and clear waters create a peaceful and serene environment that's perfect for relaxation and contemplation, and are home to a diverse array of marine life, with hundreds of species known to thrive there. The islands and islets of Ha Long Bay are also a major draw for visitors and come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny rock outcroppings to massive islands covered in lush greenery. These scenic surroundings have attracted people for thousands of years, and so it's got plenty of historical sites to discover as well. There are ancient temples, pagodas, and historic sites that are scattered throughout the bay, and the floating villages where locals live in homes built on rafts and boats offer a glimpse into the traditional way of life in that area too. Number 3. Sosusfly, Namibia Sosusfly is a magnificent salt and clay pan located in the southern part of the Namib Desert in Namibia and Africa. It's an incredible destination for travelers looking for natural beauty, breathtaking landscapes and adventure, and is known in particular for its towering red sand dunes that are some of the tallest in the world, reaching up to 980 feet or 300 meters high. The dunes here at Sosofly are not just any ordinary sand dunes, but instead are constantly changing and evolving, shaped by the wind and the movement of the sand. The colors of the dunes vary throughout the day, from a deep red at sunrise and sunset to a glowing orange in the midday sun, meaning the best time to visit this place is during early morning or late afternoon, when the sun is at its most beautiful and the temperature is a little cooler. One of the most popular features here is the Deadfly, a dried-up lake bed that's surrounded by towering red sand dunes. The dead trees that are scattered across this white pan create a surreal and eerie landscape, which are believed to have died over 900 years ago when the nearby river changed its course, which left them stranded in the middle of the pan. The best way to see the landscape, though, is to take a hot air balloon ride over the dunes to experience it from a completely different perspective. The views from above are simply breathtaking, and it's a great alternative to the guided walks, nature drives, or quad bike tours that you can also take through the desert to explore the area's unique flora and fauna. With a number of luxury lodges and campsites that offer comfortable accommodation in the midst of the desert, some of which are right next to the dunes with uninterrupted views of the surrounding landscape, Sosufly is accessible to all people of all abilities and well worth the trip if you're able to. Number 2. Grace Bay Beach, Turks and Caicos Islands Grace Bay Beach is a beautiful beach located on the island of Providenciales in the Turks and Caicos Islands and is as close to a perfect tropical beach as you're ever likely to find. It's known in particular for its crystal clear turquoise waters and soft powdery white sand. And amazingly, it stretches for over 12 miles or 19 kilometers, which makes it the longest beach on the island and one of the most beautiful in the Caribbean. The water at Grace Bay Beach is incredibly clear and calm, making it perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and other water activities. Coral reefs surrounding the beach are home to a variety of marine life, including reef fish, sea turtles, and even dolphins. Snorkelers can explore coral reefs on their own or with a guide, while scuba divers can take a boat to the countless dive sites on offer. The sand is incredibly soft and fine here, making it perfect for beachgoers who want to relax and soak up the sun. There are plenty of beach chairs and umbrellas available for rent, and the beach is never overcrowded, making it a peaceful and relaxing destination. Visitors can also take a stroll along the beach, watching the sunset or taking in the views of the surrounding islands. Number 1. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia Salar de Uyuni, which is an almost unbelievable natural wonder located in Bolivia, is the largest salt flat in the world, stretching for over 3,800 square miles or 10,000 square kilometers, and is so vast that it looks like a never-ending blanket of snow. During the rainy season, the salt flats flood and create a stunning mirror effect, reflecting the sky and clouds and creating a surreal and breathtaking visual experience that you won't find anywhere else. 
The beauty of the Salar de Uyuni is not just limited to the salt flats themselves. The area is home to several species of flamingos, including the Chilean flamingo, Andean flamingo, and James's flamingo. And these colorful birds add to the vibrance of the salt flats with their bright pink and red feathers. Visitors can see these elegant birds wading in the shallows of the waters of the salt flats, adding a pop of color to the otherwise pristinely white expanse. In the middle of the salt flats are several cactus-covered islands known as Incahuasi Island or Isla de Pascado. These islands are the result of ancient volcanic activity, and they provide a stark contrast to the flats. Cactus islands are home to giant cacti that can grow up to 33 feet tall or about 10 meters and add further color and relief to the landscape. To really see the flats at their best, though, you should visit at nighttime, as it's located in a remote part of Bolivia, away from most major cities of light pollution, and at altitude, so there's relatively thin atmosphere above it, it's the perfect backdrop for stargazing, and especially in recent years, has become a popular destination for astrophotography. It is the flattest place in the world, and the largest parts of the region are protected, but there are also concerns about its future. Because of the way the flat formed, as it was previously the site of an ancient lake, there are rich deposits of lithium and other materials beneath the surface, and these substances are now in high demand for use in batteries and other technology. Mines have already been built and dramatically changed the landscape, and these will have to be limited in order to preserve the natural beauty of Salar de Uyuni. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. The Top 5 Show has launched channel memberships. Thank you to our channel members.